Uh, anyway, so <coughs> we're going to go through this, uh, this tunnel. Uh, there is an alloy summon that you can get there. Defector Antal. Yeah, but we're not going to do that. Uh, this one I haven't had too much practice with. Um, I've only done it the one time on my first playthrough. Actually, that's a lie. I've done it again uh, a while ago and I struggled a bit with it. But I think I've got it this time. I think I've got it down. So I'm going to use some, uh, some fire paper as well. But yeah, the next boss, Dark, Dark Beast Pal. Okay, you want to stay out of its way when it does that. This one's going to be a hard one to, uh, I'm going down if I don't get out and heal. Yeah, not doing too well on this one so far. Which is trying to get those legs. So you can um, get the uh, st stagger on this beast if you uh, attack the legs. I'm just having a bit of trouble doing that in a minute. And uh, yeah, when he charges, you can run out. <clears throat> That's probably the best thing to do if you can't target any of his uh, body parts. He does just move around a lot. Okay, we've got him staggered a little bit. Can we get a headshot? Don't think we can. Oh, uh, but yeah. He just... Uh, gets to a bit of space and charges up again. Uh, I think you can follow him around, around as well. Oh, and we're dead. So yeah, this is going to take a few attempts. Definitely. So yeah, let's do it with a, a lock on. See if we can get, hit them legs a bit better. That does not help. I might have got a stun if we uh, got that third attack off. His legs. Oh god. The pressure's off and that time was so easy. Unbelievable. <laughs> um see so yeah, just like for that fight, just that fight just be relentless. Um but yeah, it does help if you're not locked on. So, um, just trying to get in there and start attacking those legs. Um, but yeah, if he's, uh, if he's about to charge up, or he just curls up and he starts glowing in the center, either just, like, keep attacking him to force him into a stun or, uh, run away. You can dodge through his, uh, his pulse as well. But yeah. Once he loses electric, just keep on top of him to stop him from charging again and attack the legs to stun. Ah, oh, I wish I didn't lose all those echoes though. That was like 41,000 or something. Anyway, it's fine. Kept thinking that was an item up there. Okay, so once we've like 
defeated this boss. What do we get actually? Uh, Spark on a badge. A badge of friends of Archibald, church, workshop, eccentric. Archibald was fascinated by the blue sparks that emanate from the hides of the dark beasts and dedicated his life to its artificial reproduction. In style of inquiry that incidentally closely followed the, the methodology of Bergamoth. Oh, it's going to be one of those nights. I'm not going to be able to read. And then we can open the store. Which may be familiar. Uh, yep. So we're back in old Yarnum. Uh, where are the beasts at? There are some beasts. Um, I think I'm just heading up this way though. We'll still have these guys here. Whip out the torch. And let's head up the shortcut. Okay, so there's still that bit over there, which I didn't clear earlier. It's got an NPC there. Well, well, how did you get in here? It's no matter. What brings you to old Yana? I've no interest in matters further up. But you must not disturb this place. The beasts do not venture above and mean no harm to anyone. If you still insist on hunting them, then I will hunt you first. You understand me? Um, so now we've got a choice. If you click on Hunt the Beast of Orjanum, he becomes hostile, I think. If you click on Spare the Beast of Orjanum, you get a gesture. Yes, very good. I no longer dream, but I was once a hunter too. There's nothing more horrific than a hunt. In case you fail to realize, the things you hunt, they're not beasts. They're people. One day you will see. Mm. It's time you got going. But first, a farewell gift. I have no use for it anyway. And the powder cake hunter badge. There you go, brush off dust. What is it? Surely go. You have the whole night to dream. So <sighs> Does he like stop attacking us if we go down? Watching us. In case we get a back attack. <clears throat> um so yeah, or you can just kill him and get the powder cake badge. You won't get the uh gesture though. Yeah, I'm just wondering though, because I do want to clear this area down here. I mean, 
this guy's not too friendly. Just really not too friendly. What are you doing, man? Oh shit! Why was I not able to like? You devious rat! Okay, he's a. Is of a true hunter, this fellow. Very well. Then there's no need to hold back. The beasts will feast tonight. Okay, so it's turned hostile again. <laughs> So if we go in here, we're going to get shut down, I think. You going to attack us? Maybe he doesn't. Yep, he does. Okay. Got enough stuff to take him out with. I might do. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm not sure. I think you can, like, uh, kick him off the edge as well. Or, or push him off the edge. There might be an easy way to take him out. I think at this level he might be he might not be that much of a problem. Should be able to just uh, dodge to the side and get some counter attacks in. If everything goes to plan. Let's see. Is it the plan or are you just raving? When the wow. trail of heart join the fray, the hunter becomes the hunted. Your mollies. Just gotta be careful not to uh, jump off the side as well. Oh, it's a good job he doesn't miss for me. It's you. You're, you're the, the beast. beast. Just think about what you're doing. It's utter madness. Okay. Just kind of makes coming <laughs> this way first, uh, this way last a bit pointless. I guess we've still got the uh, uh, the the gesture, and now we can uh, go into this place without worry of being shot at. Um, did I pick up that item down here? Yeah, so we got that item. Um, if we go up there, it takes us back to the beginning. We're just gonna head. Get here some feet. Over here. And drop down onto this ledge.
was waiting for that and he still got me. Oh, six blood vials. Nice. I'm just getting hit by everything right now. Um, this is a chest over here. And I kind of missed this last time I came around. I just kept on running up here, but if we turn back around. Slightly glowing, there's a rifle spear there. And a charred hunter garb. Uh, I think that's it in this little, little area. So it's just the bottom of that pathway again. This just takes us up to the the beginning of the level. I guess like you don't notice this as you're going around. I guess why would you want to just jump into there and get shot at by him, by Jura? Still annoyed. I lost all my. Uh, Lost all my echoes. You can kill everything I get. There. No. We don't need that. We've uh, we've leveled up plenty anyway. Uh, so just head through here to the lantern. Okay, and that's that part done. Uh, there is another area. I don't know if... Like, that one's a pretty long one as well. And a little bit harder. But yeah, hardly got any... Echoes left. So we're at the pistol a little bit. And let's see if we have any levels. Welcome. What? We do, uh, we also have our uh, cold blood things that we've been picking up as well. So we're going to get stuff from that cold blood dew. Yeah, if you ever feel like yeah, you need to push yourself a bit, you're not doing enough damage, or you're taking too many, uh, too much damage. Just uh, check your inventory for your for your cold bloods. These will give you some nice XP. Just use one of those. We get three levels with these. Um, I want to start getting my vi vitality up a bit as well. I'm gonna I'll cap those out for now, and then I'll work on some uh, some vitality afterwards. Farewell. Uh, when I say cap, I just uh, I meant just to even them out. Um, so quite some more items. What do we need more of? Let's get some more blood vials, just in case. And then we're going to go back to Cathedral Ward. <sighs> uh, 
and that's her that we uh, saved. Oh, brave hunter. You're alive. Thank you very much. Church. <laughs> Church bow, female. The town is in disarray, but there are still people here. Together, I cannot begin to express my gratitude to you. The only thing that I can offer is my own lowly blood. If it would suffice. Uh, sure. Okay. I guess not. Ray, have you renewed thought? F forgive me, I... I should have known better. What would a brave hunter do with lonely blood like mine? Please. No, 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 no. I, I feel like I might be messing up here, actually. Blood of Ariana. Let's... Can we... Let's discard that. And let's... Have you see if we can take her blood. Yes. Coming close. Now. Take my blood. Blood of Adela. Brave hunter. Please. Give me a little more time. There are others in need of my blood. Brave, there are. <sighs> okay, we're doing that for uh, for a specific reason, just because I don't want to lose out on getting the good uh, the good ending, or the the true ending. <laughs> just to go mad. Um, okay, so we've got some, some NPCs here. Oh, hello. Sorry, dear. You're much too eager. I've only so much blood, okay? Probably saw that in the background. As soon as we spoke to her, the, uh, the nun in the background peered over and looked at us. She's spying. She's jealous. Um, so next part is going to be the Forbidden Woods. It's another optional area. It's actually accessible later on in the game as well, but you can get there um, a lot earlier. Uh, but it just introduces an, an old character or a known character into this game. Uh, yeah, thanks guys for, for checking out the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a leave a comment down below. Uh, even if you've got any questions about this or uh, or I've made a mistake anywhere, feel free to point it out. Uh, and please uh, like and subscribe. Uh, hopefully see you again. See you soon, guys. Take care.